Hi everybody, just a uh, just an update on many of the things that have happened that perhaps have changed over uh, the past few weeks and definitely over the past few days. Um, I've just written down some notes here just to get us all up to date and understand where we are heading as a church. Um, it seems we've taken a step back uh, just in the last since the last time we made an announcement, which I think was on the on March the seventh. Uh, but this past Sunday, uh, we met as an eldership team, and uh, we looked at every possibility um, of, of meeting um, under the regulations. Now, I understand that the regulations changed since Sunday, but uh, the decisions we made were, um, I believe, led by God, and so uh, they don't change. But uh, the one option we, we had a look at is... Um, having indoor meetings regardless of what the government says and um, you know we we have made a commitment as an eldership team that um, as long as it's still not uh, permissible for us to meet in the building um, we won't um, you see the I think the negatives with regard to the neighborhood uh, New Life Church uh, the church in Cornell and um, the kingdom in general far outweigh the possible benefits um, of having meetings inside. You see, we, we believe that the, the virus is real. We believe that uh, it does spread. It does cause people to get sick and some people to die. And so even if we, we rebelled and we met inside, uh, we'd still only be able to get about 50 people in here uh, just because of the distancing that's required that's, uh, that's been proposed by by the medical professionals and so and so that's not an option for us uh, we we want to maintain a good standing um, the other one is to have indoor meetings at a secret location so in other words something that would not affect us um, now that doesn't actually present us with a better option than what we have right now of, uh, of meeting outside you know if we had to go to another location to a farm perhaps where there's a barn or something um, it would be cold and uh, it would be inconvenient um, and it'll be just like meeting outside. So that really is not for us an option right now. Maybe in the future when we are under serious persecution, then uh, you know we could look at something that is uh, in secret. The third option we had a look at was the indoor meetings, which is no longer relevant, but just for just to let you know, we did think of that, uh, 27 people inside, so if the regulations do change to allow us to have 10% of our capacity, which is 27 people, including the musicians and the preacher and the guys doing sound and, and visual and so on, um, it would mean we'd have four meetings uh, every Sunday. And uh, I think after a few weeks, maybe even after one or two weeks, uh, the people serving, the musicians, the preacher, uh, the people doing sound and so on, they would be get pretty exhausted pretty soon uh, doing it four times a day. So that really isn't an option for us either. The final option was to have outdoor meetings, uh, two meetings every Sunday, like we did when we were inside, but this time it's outside, uh, 50 people. Um, obviously, there's going to be a weather consideration. Um, again, uh, let me let me be... Uh, uh, direct but also have a have a little joke on this as well is that uh, surely if uh, if we um, are prepared to die for our faith then we can also be prepared to bring a lawn chair and a blanket and perhaps a heater and to come and to be together for an hour but this is what we have decided upon we've had a hundred percent agreement within the eldership team as far as that's concerned and uh, I believe that God led us to this conclusion so starting on April the 11th um, only, not this coming weekend, April the 11th. And the reason for that is it gives us just an extra week to plan. We've always said that if the regulations change, we'll continue as we are for another week. That's the first thing. The second thing is it gives us another two weeks of perhaps having a, a weather that's slightly warmer. And the third thing is that if we say, well, this is Easter, it's a very important weekend. I want to remind us of some scriptures that really speak about uh, be careful and don't worry about celebrating all sorts of festivals and new moons and Sabbaths and what have you. Let us not attach our faith to a particular day or an event, uh, but to Jesus Christ himself. And so that'll start on 11th of April, then we'll start with two meetings. The first meeting will start at 930 
9.30. When we had two meetings, it started at 9 o'clock, but we don't need to sanitize between meetings. And so the first meeting will start at 9.30. It's an extra half hour for the sun to warm things up as well. And the second meeting will be at 11 o'clock. Uh, both of those meetings will have prayer times about 20 minutes before the meeting starts. Okay. Um, so that would be at uh, 10 past 9 and at uh, 20 to 11. Um, there will be no live streaming of the meeting straight away. But a recording uh, will be made uh, for people who can't make it. Um, and they'll be posted on the normal YouTube channel. Just won't be live by 6 p.m. every Sunday evening. So we're going to ask that you stick to the groups that you were in before. Okay. We will send out those groups again uh, before the 11th. All right, so those people that were in the 9 o'clock group will now be in the 9.30 group. And those that were in the 11 o'clock group will be in the 11 o'clock group. There will only again be Sunday school, um, which is totally legal under, under youth gatherings, um, for the first meeting, as we had before. So there will be Sunday school for those that, uh, uh, that had their children in Sunday school the previous time all right there are some additional restrictions there are things like wearing of masks staying a, a distance from each other not being allowed to uh, socialize before and afterwards and so on and um, and so we'll be reminding you of those restrictions as time goes by there is a restriction that is very controversial and that is that as participants we're not allowed to sing so the musicians can sing uh, and then when they're done singing, they've got to put their masks back on again. Uh, but they're allowed to sing. But as participants, we are not allowed to sing or chant. Not that we do chant, but uh, that's what the regulations say. So bring a lawn chair, um, bring a blanket, bring an umbrella, bring a gazebo, uh, bring a propane heater. As long as it's not one of those that sounds like a jet engine. Uh, bring something that will keep you warm, perhaps a, a, warm, a warm water bottle or something like that that can, that can keep you warm. We will try and supply some of those propane heaters that, uh, that have a little roof on the top to be able to help with that as well. And we need to keep praying that the restrictions will be lifted as soon as possible. I think one good thing that has come out of this is that the churches have been closed and the churches have been blamed for being super spreaders of the virus. However, we haven't been meeting, and lo and behold, it seems like uh, the super spreaders are elsewhere other than the church. All right. And so just remember that uh, with the most recent changes, you don't need to be totally isolated. The order clearly states that you may be visited by church leaders in your home for religious service. Um, Remember that our four values that we see practiced in the early church, we see the apostles teaching, the breaking of bread, fellowship, and prayer. And so when people, when you invite leaders to your home, then uh, we can do all of those things together. And those are the values that we want to hold on to. Also speak to your life group leaders about uh, when uh, they're going to be meeting. The church is available. Uh, our life groups do fall under support groups. Remember that they have reworded they have fallen into a support group category and they are still permitted to meet and they can meet inside with up to 50 people obviously with all of those regulations in place so uh, get connected to a life group um, and also remember that uh, uh, make sure that the office has your contact details so that you can receive all the emails you can receive all the messages um, especially during this time when things change so often all right. And then um, also just while we talking on the video, if you're a life group leader, remember to check with the office first to make sure that space is actually available. And if you change your time, then make sure that we know about that uh, so that we can accommodate everybody so that there aren't uh, a couple of issues when you when you arrive here to meet. Um, let's continue to pray. Let's continue to pray. So the kingdom continues to advance. This is more about who we are serving than about how we are serving him. It's more about Jesus than about our meetings. And so if we can remember that, then uh, we will get through this together. Bless you. And uh, we'll see you online um, on Sunday. But before that, remember there is an Easter 
service that will be will send out those details as well uh, the link to that at 10 o'clock uh, for all the churches in Quinell. all right